Am I still waiting? Still waiting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to wait for a hero and Dark Sonic. I feel bad for Dark Sonic every time I face. Why do you feel bad for Dark Sonic? He plays Little Mac. And I just I give props to anyone that I can just, play Little Mac at a good level. I just can't platforms because this his Little Mac scary up close. <laughs> hey, Little Mac is a scary character on the ground though. This when you get him off stage though, it's like Huh? For it to happen here and then click it. Okay. So was it like taking a snapshot or like yeah, it Ah, you have okay. to wait until it shows up here instead because, like, stream lag, you know? <laughs> ah, gotcha. All right. That makes more sense. All right. So now we are going to winner's quarters with Devinator and Ling Ling. And this is a interesting matchup, honestly, though. Let's just see how Peach can adapt to it. So what do you think Devinator has to do here in order to counteract this Peach, though? He needs to space well. And try not to get hit. <laughs> yeah, both characters have a lot of really safe stuff, honestly, because they have like really, Very nice. really unusual neutral uh, most characters. Dev is uh, more of a Pikachu that likes to be in your face and likes to grab. Honestly. Yeah, that's a smart. That's a smart thing to do for Pikachu because you need stuff that you can do to follow up your combos and everything. So, even if it's like against characters that you can't really combo, though, you need to have at least something though to help you back back yourself up and know how to play safe. He just likes to toss them away, though, for some reason. Mm. Yep, that's a typical Peach thing to do. Down throw to bat here. Oh, now the rainbow is coming out. Ooh. And there's the Peach is trying to make Pikachu taste the rainbow. Yep, Skittles. This man with the Skittles. Mm. Well, on the, she was trying to follow up with the tiara right there. Ooh. I think that would have done it, honestly. I don't know. Depending on whether they DI'd or not. Ling Ling is pretty scary right now. Yeah, Ling Ling's looking good. Oh, right, we got hey, Elias Yagami joining Elias Nexus. Elias Yagami. Shout out to you. Yo. I remember you. You go on Snakey Stream a lot, man. There you go. He, he actually uh, plays Peach. All right, all right. Nice save right there with Peach. Wow. Huh? Nice save right there with Peach with the yeah, Toad right there. He didn't, really Peach nice. didn't want to get killed early. So that was a smart move right there. Does Pikachu at Rage? Is a scary Pikachu. I guess. You just need to be able to somehow confirm to shit with Pikachu. And it's just... Uh, I would say so, honestly, though. Like, like, it is hard to get those confirms. And, oh, that dash attack is, is so deadly. Uh, so deadly. Poor Pika. Like, even though this matchup is, like, not really in Peach's favor, depending on how you look at it, though, I feel like Peach can definitely uh, adapt to it to an extent. I don't... Uh, but he tried to hard read too, too much with that down smash, Devinator. Mm. When you know Pikachu, I mean, you know Peach likes to be in the air more than anything. Yeah. Peach is like uh, one of those characters, though, where you shouldn't do, like, long duration ground moves against because because Peach is floaty and can get out of certain stuff better. That just, like, yeah, I do that. helps her with, like, doing more options. Devinator, don't do that. You gotta try to read. You gotta try to read the DI after you up throw them so that you can get the yeah. thunder off. Yeah, like so, like if they DI upward, you can like try to follow um, it up with a thunder or something. It depends on like where your opponent DIs. Usually you're supposed to DI right, right. left or right to get out of the thunder range. Mm. So most people just DI left or right. So you just have to catch them like that. Um, yeah, like, um, see, like see how he, he DI'd in, a weird, in he, like a weird way? He, he got himself out of the situation. He probably could have won for the thunder, but he probably would have air dodged it. So he was better off not doing it. Gotcha. So that was a good option. Uh, oh, that dash the, attack. The I dash thought that was going to kill it. Killed. And Ooh, there a tiara smash. Tiara. A tiara, Ling though. Ling. It's messy. Ling Ling taking game one. That tiara gets messy after every match. I win. Especially with the br with bruise marks or um, anything that makes it look like it has been through a lot. Like, it could have, like, dents here and there. Like, yeah. how does Peach take care of that thing? Is it, like, indestructible or something? <laughs> Probably. Hero. Oh, no, not a hero. Oh, you're, <laughs> are you leaving? I guess so. All right. I'm up for my match. See you at stream. All right, man. Good, good luck on your stuff, man. I hope you do good. Just remember what to do with Pikachu.
I'll play him in neutral and space well. That's how you do it. Okay, and we have game two, and Devinator is interestingly enough going to Luigi, who I don't, can't really say much about this matchup to be honest, though. But Ling Ling seemed to have a good knowledge of the Pikachu one, to be honest. So, with this interesting pick with Luigi here, it's like Devinator just has to be more careful with the character because the Luigi's recovery is not as crazy as Pikachu's. Ooh. Oh, is this a new match? Oh, he's yeah. stuck. Yeah, this is game two right now, and Ling Ling is playing really, really well with Peach right now. And Devinator is playing his Luigi at the moment, though, who is not doing the best like how he wants to at the moment, though. But Devinator is a good player regardless, though, so I feel like he could definitely Ooh. like not have adapt to certain seven. What the? What I like the? That, I like that kind of like that wall umbrella. Of, I like that wall of pain attempt by um. Not a yeah. umbrella. Is it Ling Ling or is it Devinator? 